right, as in, it's just amazing to see this kind of energy, this kind of zeal, this kind of uh, uh, working out with a lot of oomph from a female bodybuilder. Many times we see bodybuilders and we don't think about women, Evelyn, but here you are, you have started from something that was passion to something that became um, your career now. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for joining us today and Thank I'm you. so happy to see you. Thank you. Thank Good you. body goals, right? <laughs> I'm so, trying to whoop my shape, my shape back from... What from, do you mean shape back? From December. We all get flabby. <laughs> wow, interesting. She'll be telling me how she just has to work away from the cheat days. But anyway, very many titles. When, when, I, when I look at your profile, Evelyn, yeah. maybe we'll have not seen it before because maybe we were not even keen about it. Yeah. But then we were a flashback to 2016. That's when you became the um, Miss, figure, Miss Kenya figure first. Yes, yeah. And then that's when this thing started for you. Just, just tell me what made you be, uh, get into bodybuilding or how did this journey start? I think for me it was just um, like fun. You know the way you can have a sort of sport that you do for fun yeah. and you didn't even see yourself propelling yourself to that level. Yeah. <laughs> Most people will tell you, oh, I saw myself getting there. Mm -hmm. I didn't see myself getting to the world mm -hmm. stage anyway. Yeah. I was just trying to enjoy myself, mm -hmm. doing something I love. And doing something I love led me that far. All yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. I'm going through the profiles and I'm thinking, uh, 2019 Africa champion with the well wellness. Let me get this one. I can't yes. speak about that without this trophy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If my director could show this again. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is a trophy she did win last year during the African Championships uh, in the wellness and uh, wellness category. Category, right? Category, yeah. Yeah, and it was happening all the way in Angola. But this is after a series of trying very many things, Evelyn. Your journey has been, wow. Just give me a second. <laughs> Your journey has been quite something because I, I read this thing and I'm seeing you even had a, um, you took part in the Arnold Classic competition yeah. in yeah. the uh, bodybuilding and fitness uh, championships. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, yeah. you know, like um, there are different um, sports. I, I think the African Championship was more loud in Kenya. Yeah maybe because it had the title African Championships, mm -hmm. but I did other bigger championships, for example, the Arnold um, Africa, mm -hmm. uh, which was held in South Africa, mm -hmm. uh, also did the World Cup, amateur a World Cup, okay. which I became third mm -hmm. uh, in the whole world. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, there are other championships that are probably bigger, but, but this, I think because it was in Africa and you beat Africa. Yeah, everybody got to hear about everybody, it. Yes, <laughs> everybody got to hear about it, including yeah. the, the media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish my, my director would just play some of the cutaways and the cover shots to show you exactly yeah. what you do. Uh, this was uh, in the Arnold Classic, is it? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. This was uh, in the Arnold Classic Africa. Mm -hmm. um, that is because you, you first win your category, yeah. then you win the overall. Okay. So that big trophy was for the overall. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is it this one or this, this no, is No, no, no. This one is for Africa. Okay. The, that one was uh, uh, Arnold Classic. All right. And that's your training. Yeah. Will you just take me through how your normal day is like? How do you start? Uh, well, how is your schedule? My schedule is um, in the morning at 5 a.m. I have to do a little cardio for myself mm -hmm. so that I'm, I'm, I'm active and, uh, you know, fluid enough to, to be around my clients. Mm -hmm. And then um, later in the day at around... Um, 9 to mm -hmm. 11 mm -hmm. I have to do my own workout mm -hmm. I have to schedule time for myself mm -hmm. then after that I now see my clients then later in the evening do a little cardio just for myself uh, and that's Monday to Sunday Monday to Saturday mostly. Mm -hmm. um, when things are thick, when you're going for championships, <laughs> yeah. yes, Monday to Sunday. It's Monday to Monday, actually. <laughs> Monday to Monday. <laughs> no resting. <laughs> yeah. All right, now tell me how, when you made uh, your decision, because you're a, you were a banker, yep. you still are somehow. You yeah, still, yeah. yeah, the banking part is still somewhere there in a <laughs> compartment. <laughs> you were a banker. Yeah. And then you woke up one day and you're thinking, you know what, I feel like I want a new challenge in yeah. life. I yeah. want to do something new. Yeah. And this is how body building started now tell me how your fa family um took it yeah took it first of all i didn't <laughs> tell my dad until six months were over you what? know that's that such a crazy move that yeah. <laughs> you don't want to easily communicate to anyone yeah. who, who would think you're crazy yeah uh that's one two um there were other reasons as to why i went through that move it was it was my hobby yes mm -hmm. but i didn't see it as being my job okay and i can tell anybody out there if you have a hobby next time it can be the only thing that makes you survive the next meal mm -hmm. so don't sleep on it yeah so um mm -hmm. there are other circumstances and um 
the least people I wanted to talk to were probably my siblings mm -hmm. and, and, and my family, mm -hmm. basically because they will be like, are you crazy? Yeah. How can you quit? Your and you know when you're in the bank, you know the banking has a name, yeah. especially in this <laughs> yes. country, in Africa, mm -hmm. it has a name. So mm -hmm. you don't, that's not a job you want to quit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't easy though. How many, how many months did it take you to, to get your footing into this? Um, or years? It might be years. Yeah, it, well, what happened is, you know, it was my passion, really. Mm -hmm. So the first month, you know, you don't have no clients. You're just there. Yeah. Second month, I'm like, okay, let me talk to someone. Tell them, girl, mm -hmm. you just have to do the, we do this together. Mm -hmm. I, I won't charge you anything. But the, the client was kind enough to tell me, hey, you have to charge me something small. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. So mm -hmm. just from displaying my work, because if you don't display your work, mm -hmm. how will someone know? How will they know that you can do whatever you've done on yourself mm -hmm. to someone else? Because there's a difference. There's mm -hmm. a difference in me changing myself yeah. and me changing someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and that's how you now started attracting people. Your yes. Instagram is very popular on this. Yeah. Trust me, <laughs> I have gone there. I'm going to check it out on my end. I want to try that. As you know, like yeah. you had to go big on your Instagram and your social media pages. Yes, um, yes. Um, I must say, social media plays a very important role, mm -hmm. especially if you're trying. You're a small business person, and or even a big business person. Yeah. I think it's something you can't ignore if you're trying to be in business. Mm -hmm. It's something that you have to push for yourself, um, and it's uh, a space that you can grow from. All right. Yeah. Now, te tell me, take me through the challenges that you have faced because. Yeah. It, it, you said it wasn't easy. Yeah. Some, just some of the challenges that I need to pinpoint this one and actually talk to somebody in a motivational kind of way to tell them, you know what, I did it. I went through this, but, I, but I'm here now. First of all, when I started um, weight training, there were very few women who were doing this as, as, mm -hmm. as a sport. Mm -hmm. And therefore, there's a lot of criticism around, mm -hmm. oh, you're going to look like a man, you know. They're, they're like <laughs> lifting such weights. Yeah, you know? lifting <laughs> weights. <you're gonna. laughs> so um, I, I, the good thing is that I tell ladies, if you're going to look like a man, hey, I'm <laughs> eight years ahead. So if I'm eight years or six years ahead yeah. of you, yeah. you're safe. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, this is the most manly I have looked, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And I, I, I would want you to tell them if I look like a man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, she's sitting right here next to me. She doesn't look like a man. Exactly. She's, she's just toned up. Yes, so she's exactly. That's what I'm trying to encourage women to, because most criticism was coming from, from you know, even the fitness space itself. Yeah. Yeah, saying that. And then another thing is um, people have a weird way of relating um, working out and uh, conception. Okay. It has really, uh, actually, it's even good for you anyway, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. um, also, the, in terms of competition, just corporates coming along mm -hmm. and uh, helping you through uh, like with sponsorship yeah. because y you realize time is lapsing and mm -hmm. you are not doing anything with yourself yeah. waiting upon any corporate to come along. Mm -hmm. I would really encourage them that there's so much uh, talent in bodybuilding mm -hmm. and they need to look also that direction mm -hmm. apart from the famous athletics. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I, I believe Africans have genetics for good muscle mm -hmm. and when you see, when you stand on a stage, you look in a very nice, mm -hmm. yeah. So I think uh, that's an, an undeveloped place. All right. Yeah. And of course, you had your support system. Yes. Your husband. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> My number one support system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been amazing. Um, I'm, I'm privileged to have a man who actually supports me in in my career. Mm -hmm. and he didn't go like, uh, we can't be too many in the house. Like, like you've got to build yeah. up muscle. Was, he, was that his worry? Oh in the my beginning? God, I think he gets more worried when I'm a bit mushy, <laughs> as a matter okay. of fact. Yeah. So um, I think he's very supportive. He, we both have our eyes on the goal. Mm -hmm. And if we are aiming for this, we channel all our energy towards one direction yeah. so that we are able to try and accurately shoot towards that direction. Okay. Yeah. So if today I made the decision, I'm going to start going your way. Yay. I don't know. I, at least I can lift 20. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. At yeah. least I changed one person. <laughs> so what, what will be the basics that you will tell me, will you guide me through? The basics that I would tell you, one, find somebody to guide you through okay. your process. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't find someone, injury is real right yeah. and most injuries come from very light weight mm -hmm. not the heavy weight because we are more careless with the light oh, weight yeah. than the heavier weight mm -hmm. 
Um, that's one. Two, um, don't starve yourself. <laughs> okay. Good news. Yes. Yeah. Don't starve yourself. Please eat. <laughs> Your body needs it. Mm. You don't want to lose weight and everybody else is thinking you're thin, you're sick, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. You want to look vibrant. Mm -hmm in your whether it's weight loss or weight gain because there are people who are actually trying to gain mm -hmm. uh, that's another thing so find again somebody else who can advise you appropriately mm -hmm. uh, fourthly um, just make sure you're always in the right gear all the time mm -hmm. you walk into a gym in open shoes weight is likely yeah. to fall on your feet yeah. and it would be an accident and no insurance can give you back whatever you cut True. from you yeah yeah so please just take care of yourself another thing is just working out in itself will reduce your downtime mm -hmm. and so you need it for your other successes whether it's financial emotional and any other stability all right yeah uh, i will take notes of that one <laughs> no, finally the soya awards the reason why yeah. everybody's like oh Awala, finally because yeah. look at that category it yeah. has uh, uh beatrice chepko edge that's all a athletes world. yeah all of them they <laughs> running have their athletes. own records they yeah. have their titles world yeah. titles that they've had yeah. but in that list, yeah. here comes in Evelyn Owala, yeah. and, and she's, you never know what will happen on Friday. No, 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 I'm winning that one. You're winning that one. We're confident about it. We're going down to, to the coast, by the way. We'll you have to be positive to attract it. <laughs> and I like that energy. You see, we go down to the coast, and yeah. on Friday at around 11 p.m., you'll yes. be announced the winner of the sportswoman Evelyn. category. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I'll be there cheering. <laughs> Please cheer me up. Yeah. Um, one thing I say about that, for me, just being on that list um, is an accomplishment in mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. One, it says that bodybuilding exists in this country. True. And there are people who are noticing it exists. Mm -hmm. Two, that there are women who do bodybuilding and their wives and mothers. Mm -hmm. Three, that when you are there on that stage in a bikini, mm -hmm. Um, it is a sport, just like swimming, you have to be in a bikini. Mm. And outside that, we are normal people with normal lives, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So for me, just that nomination communicates so much, mm -hmm. so much that I would have wished to communicate to the whole nation. Mm. So we will try us as bodybuilders mm -hmm. in the might that we can mm -hmm. to be able to tell this to the world, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so glad that there was someone out there mm -hmm. who was uh, willing to see this part. Mm -hmm. And even I, I, I really appreciate that the, the C, uh, uh, C, yeah, CS mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. was able to, oh, yeah. to you know, mm -hmm. congratulate, which means they, they acknowledge. And there are and so many see. people mm -hmm. who are down there who would want to be here. All right. Uh, and I say I'm lucky <laughs> yeah. to be here today. Yeah. I'm going to rush because we're rushing out of time. Okay. We, we can talk about this forever. I see that. Yeah. But uh, quickly, the voting is still going on? Yes, the voting is still going on between mm -hmm. now and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So please vote for me. Yeah. The number to dial is star 279 star 4 star 1 wow. star okay. 1 hash go to all the soya uh, well, social media platforms you'll get all those all yes, that written yes. down and if you feel that Evelyn is uh, the winner for this you feel that she needs to win this get texting get no, voting no 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 they have that feeling yeah they have yes. that feeling even so the people who are voting there, they just don't know it <laughs> get voting <laughs> all right well, thank you very much for joining us thank today you. it has been a pleasure to have you on this platform and yes thank you. maybe you just changed somebody you never know yes. yeah yes. all right see you <laughs> next Monday tomorrow we'll be having Karen and Sean as well on Wednesday and Thursday. As for Evelyn, look forward to see whether she's going to win this on Friday night. Have a good afternoon.